All right, so I've got a little project here, my wife's mouse for laptop. A while ago, I just put some tape around this because the insulation had broken, as you can see there. And um, also the strain relief, not very effective. Anyway, so I've pulled the little rubber pads off, well, the, I don't know, what they, Teflon or something, aren't they? Um, little rubber feet which go on here, pulled those off to get to the screws. And what's happening is when she's using the mouse, she'll click on something and drag it and it will drop what she's dragging. So it sounds like it could be the mouse button or it could be a break in this cable finally giving up. Um, I'm going to go on the assumption of, of the break in the cable because there's obviously, you know, a an issue there already. So let's open this thing up and see what we can get out of this. See what we find. I mean, it might just be the button. It could just be the button. I'm um, hoping it is because that's a smaller job. Um, you know, space and clean into it kind of thing. So I might just do one thing at a time, pull it apart, give it a clean, and uh, see how she goes with that. See if that fixes the problem or not. All the screws are the same, so there's a movement there. Let's try and get the bottom piece off. Right. Bit of crap and stuff in there. Dust and what have you. I believe there's only one screw in that area. That sounds when you have secondary screws. Feels like it doesn't want to lift. Maybe it wants to slide or something. A little clip. Something. Um, the top part there is coming off. Oh, there's the key there. Oh, look at no, no dust in there. Okay. Um, yeah, that might have something to do with it. <laughs> it's pretty dirty. There you go. Wow. Well, um, yeah, this not great. So where's the buttons? Um, so that's the buttons there and there. So it could just be this is crap in those buttons. Um, as far as this cable goes, how hard is that to fix that? Solder straight on. There's no connector, so I might as well cut the wire then and redo it. Um, yeah, this is a lot of crap in here. I should probably strip the thing right down. It's all in in here and yeah. So I shall. I think I'm going to cut this wire off here. We do all that. Yeah. <laughs> lots of lots of crap in here. This. Yeah. I had my hand on that. <clears throat> That's gross. Yeah. Anyway, let's pop this top piece here off. Come on, off you come. Get that bit out of the way at least. And there's some screws in there. Let's take all this off. Take the whole board out. So I'll, I'll cut that cable off and solder wires straight back on again to repair that. It's plenty long enough anyway, as you can see we've got a knot in it anyway because it's too long. <laughs> so it's you know, not an issue. Because we use it on a, on a laptop, not a desktop, so it doesn't need to be very long. But uh, anyway, this is actually the right side of for these screws, but they work. Yeah, that's their bit. Is that the side there as well? Yeah, the side's got the screws, hold it on those out. Okay, one side, the other side, main board which will hopefully be free now. It's moving slightly, I think there might be another screw somewhere that got stuck down to the bench. There's that tape on there. There's another screw somewhere I think. 
or is it just it's just this mount here which I need to try and get out somehow I think it will just pop out of there also I don't want to break it I'm trying to repair the thing not break it Hmm. If I tip it slightly, I'm going to do it. No. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to pop it out. I shall stop in a second and come back. Okay, I'll go and actually get it popped out. I just got my tweezers in the back there and just got behind all that and it popped out. Okay, so that's now out. Lots more dust, dust and hair and yes. Anyway, um, there's the borrowing there. So I should make a note of that. So it's orange, white, blue, green. V, G, plus, negative. Okay, colours don't match the markings, at least not to my mind. There's a cover there. So this all needs a good clean. I might give that to my wife to go and clean. <laughs> um, I'll get this bit out of here as well. Not saying that women should be cleaning, don't get me wrong. Just that whilst I'm fixing the electronics, she can be tidying up the rest of the housing. It's not about gender stuff, it's a whole bunch of bullshit. I would go and clean it myself, but I want to fix the electronic side of it. If anyone says anything about gender equality and that sort of stuff, that's fine. I'm not trying to be funny like that. Alright. Trying to get this board out is a bit tricky, but it will come. And there's another little top board there, which I think I've got to take out for the looks of it. Yeah, it's going to come out too. And that's got clips there. There's a, there's a weight in it, metal weight to make it feel more robust. <laughs> Sort of tricks they do. Alright, there we go. Get that bit out of there. I'm going to have to take the weight off to get the plug out. Oh no, here we go. Alright. So, I'll give that to my wife to go and tidy up. And I shall carry on with this stuff. So let's pop the uh, scroll wheel out of that little housing there. That can be cleaned as well. Well overdue for us. A bit of an overhaul with this thing, I think. Lots and lots of crap everywhere. I mean, you do kind of expect it, but... Yeah. This mouse is fairly old, actually. It's... Uh, well, not that old. It's... Um, what would it be? Um, probably... Four years old, something like that. Anyway, all right. So, all right. The electrolytics look, yeah, all right. <laughs> They're probably fine. Um, but what I'll do is I'll give all these switches a flush out with some IPA, including the scroll wheel, which is covered. Um, give us a flush out and then I shall resolder actually I'll resolder this first then I can use the IPA to help clean it so I'll do it in that order so I've got to cut this off and resolder onto there in those combinations and I'll need to try and do something about strain relief as well um, usually these are glued on I don't think I'll be able to get the strain relief back off it's not likely it could be either glued on or, or molded over or over molded um, so we can get this down here. No, that ain't gonna happen. So as far as stream relief, stream relief goes, I'm gonna have to put cable ties or something around it in housing just to hold it. 
and um, probably I'll actually heat shrink over it actually just to give it some support all right so let's cut this off a little distance away this plenty of length so now we're committed to doing it and just get some heat shrink on there before I forget about it bundle here <laughs> got something somewhere this one looks promising we we'll find the end of it size yeah that will work just fine so I'll stick some of that on a nice length of that and I'll probably go to another size above that as well if I've got one slightly bigger which will hopefully shrink down a bit more too there we go so take this over that and hopefully that'll be sufficient I might just slide those over now if we forget. Nothing like doing a whole wiring thing and soldering it all up and then realising, oh, I forgot to put a heat shrink on. And to undo it all. Been there more than once. Alright, so let's try and get into this wire. Just very gently eat into it because I don't want to cut into the inner insulation. It's nice, fairly blunt, that's why I'm sort of getting into it like that. There we go. That should be sufficient because there's heaps of wire in there. Take the uh, sheath off. Right, so yeah, I did tell myself why not. Let's go. Let's get some space here. Cramped. I'm in the process of reorganising my bench, and it's a bit messy still. Right. Okay. Let's strip these off. Where's my stripper? She'll do it once, so it's sort of time. Look at that. Now, I did bite in a little bit on the insulation, but I think it's okay. So, this is how to fix your mouse. <laughs> Whether it's a broken wire or possibly dodgy switches. Anyway, we'll find out. I uh, need some solder. Get the crap bag off. Solder. Some fresh stuff in this iron. Come on. Might as well take it. Do we tin it? Right. Try again. I think there's a um, fabric strand in there as well, or cotton or something. There's definitely a strand of something in there which isn't just metal. Okay. That seems okay now. Make sure that both sides done. So, so I'll take these wires off one at a time and attach these one at a time. Now we don't make any mistakes. 
fact, I think it's a little bit long. I'll trim down slightly. Orange. In fact, I'll take these all off. Orange, white, blue, green. Orange, white, blue, green. Remember that, won't you? Hopefully I do. Okay. This has got lead-free sold on here. Looking a bit crappy. Let's clean this off. There we go. That's a bit nicer. Orange, white, blue, green. Right. First part done, those are clean as well. Okay, so now give us a bit of a flush out and try and get all the rubbish out of it. Um, and it's just going to make some mess, get into shit. This is IPA in here. Chill, just pause this camera. I have to keep keep it five minutes if I can, because otherwise it uh, goes out of sync with the audio. Try and flush them into the switches. Hopefully, it'll come out somewhere. So switch there as well, and try and flush them into this too somewhere. There'll be some holes in it somewhere. That's not exhibiting any, exhibiting any issues, but um, still want to do it. Now, I'm actually trying to keep it away from that sensor. I actually don't want to get that sensor um, being optical. You don't want to get crap and stuff in there um, where you can't get it back out. So that's the one bit I'm trying to keep it away from. Just operate the switch a little bit, try and give a chance to get clean. It could just be dirty switch, you know, it could be all it is is just knocking the switch. Entirely possible that's all it is. So are there any other holes I can squirt stuff into in there? Let's pass straight through. Yeah, there's only just that hole on the top, really. So we'll see if that helps. I mean, it's worth trying it, eh? Put a bit more in. So this little bit here is obviously a little rotary encoder. Um, probably not too critical if that doesn't quite scroll reliably, but it does actually um, scroll okay. It doesn't seem to have any issues with that. Right, so hopefully that's all the issues sorted out with this thing. And I can start to reassemble it. Let's give this a bit of a clean here.
I do actually have proper cleaning swabs, but I've got this tissue here which is covered in IPA, so I might as well use it. Uh, right, so. right, I think that is pretty much as good as I'm going to get out of that. Let's try and put it back together again. Um, while well, still cleaning a couple of bits. Oh, that's right, I've got this piece here to do yet as well. I don't know, didn't seem too bad, it's just a bit dusty. These side switches were never really used anyway. Um, I don't think we've even got any software, I forgot to use them. And that's the middle. Side switches, middle switch. Anyway, it's fairly clean, so I'm not too worried about this piece. Right, so. I need the base section and I need this bit here which was sitting on there one way or another something like that something like that which way does it go? only goes on way so that's fine so that clips onto that but like that okay that's fine let's drop that back in We get lined back up again somehow. There we go. All right, so that's that piece in. Um, I'll show the top section afterwards. This will have to come around like that or something, so I shall sort that after. As well as heat shrink it. We have the side pieces which go back on. Uh, which way do they go? That's that side. That. Okay, so I'll do those afterwards. That's that side. This is this side. There's the top piece, which I shall assemble in a minute. There's this assembly here. So I shall reassemble this part first, which goes that way up. pops in so that's fine so I shall drop that into the encoder I think that's in yep that feels fine pop that into there I think that's in place correctly no it's not sitting quite right it's got to sit in there the encoder part's not in properly. Let's pop that back out. Yeah, let's pop it back out again. Come on. It wasn't this hard to get out in the first place? Alright. Here we go. Try this again. Line the encoder up first. Yeah, that makes more sense, don't Okay, there we go. Right, that pops in there, that goes in there, that pops into this bit. That's why I need to take back out of the way. Right, I shall pause a second. Right, put that side on. Just located, not actually screwed in. Same for this piece here. It's got like a little slot located at the back end, and it drops onto there. Put these in. Just get the right screw. Screwdriver. I'll get the main board mounted back in and I'll do the top section after that. Yeah. Go on again. So 
So at least doing this should pretty much guarantee this is all good again. Um, unless I've made some stupid mistake. Which happens. I don't always get it right. Like those white colours, I'm fairly sure I've got the blue and the green right around. <laughs> fairly sure. Uh, yeah. Hey, it won't be the first time I've got things like backwards. Memory's not 100%, not like it used to be. Like I've got one screw sitting there right now, I'm thinking, where did that one come from? Right. So that's those bits. Now let's do the top assembly. So I can get rid of these other screws. Just didn't keep sticking itself to the desk, it'll be good. So this has to pop through there. Like that. And that went like this. Pops through there, clips into that one. I did clip into that one. I should just push it into that one first. Doesn't want to go in. There we go. Right. So on there. So we've got two screws, three screws here. Now I think this one will go here. So that's the same style as the ones that went onto the other PCB. And I've got this one here, which went um, that way, somewhere like that, wasn't it? That's it, that's it goes like that. Get it to line up. Go. So that's one of these screws, I think it's this one. Still got one screw left over. I think is one holds these two pieces together. Alright, let's have a look. So we've got a locator there, and that pops together like so. And one screw right there. I think we're on track now. I think we're getting there. Okay. So far, so good. Alright, so I managed to squeeze that wire down the side there. It looks like it's actually held in quite nicely just by tucking it in there like that. Um, I do think the original construction actually had those wires stripped too far back anyway. So I've put some heat shrink tube into that clamp section there and I've got the larger ones going into it like that so it's got a little bit of rest restraint. Let's get the uh, hot air gun running and just melt this in place. Be a bit noisy for a little while. Okay, so that's in there. Now I'm ready to put top bag on. It should all hold in quite nicely. Yes, it does. That's all nice. Okay, chuck some screws in. A couple of opposite end ones so it holds it together. That'll sharp in a second once it cools down enough. It's almost there. There we go. Nice and quiet again. In fact, I'm turning the whole iron off because the uh, I finished soldering now. Of course, now I've probably jinxed it. <laughs> right. Yeah, the next tricky bit I've got to do is um, reattach those little uh, feet, which are normally double sided tape, but yeah, it's not going to work now. So, right, 
let's go test it. As far as I'm concerned, that is done. Um, attaching these is going to be a little tricky. I probably have to use some glue. Um, most of the pads have already gone, you see. So, all right. That's how you fix a Gigabyte GMM6880 laser mouse. Hopefully. Catch you later.